Hey guys, welcome to another Ravenous Flamingos uh, Minecraft tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna make this real quick. I got some stuff. Sorry, I haven't been posting videos. I've been uh, real busy in the real life here. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to post this video because the new snapshot came out. Um, 1303A. I'm sure they'll put a 03B once they fix some of the uh, glitches, but most of it actually works fairly well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you notice, uh, I have some setups here, and you notice the two, there's two different openings now um, with uh, dispensers. We have an actual dropper, uh, I believe that's what, yeah, dropper. And then we have a dispenser, okay? So dropper and dispenser. The only difference in the two, they operate the same. Um, the only difference is that, um, sorry about the phone. <laughs> uh, the only difference is that this actually um, will shoot items such as like arrows and stuff when you put in here. This just drops them on the ground as if like uh, a per character just kind of throws it on the ground like that. Um, obviously you don't throw arrows at people, people unless you have a bow, uh, bow, sorry, Blech. can't talk. <laughs> but I'll give you a demonstration, uh, let me set this up, game mode, uh, zero, yeah, oh, zero, there we go, okay, um, let's go ahead and we'll hit this button, and as you can see it spit out an arrow see nothing too fancy but now if we come over here if we stand in front of it come on oh, oh there we go see I got hit see that's the difference okay um, which is that this actually is gonna be very nice I mean obviously you can still use the uh, dispensers for uh, arrow shooting <clears throat> or killing machines uh, which I don't have a killing machine yet for uh, cows and pigs but um, actually I do have something I want to show you which is that right there but I will show you that at a later date that's gonna be an interesting thing uh, for sugar farming um, uh, to make the uh, dispenser oh I forgot uh, mine carts with hoppers in them now um, this mine cart has a hopper and this is a this is a dropper and as you can see I uh, put this here because it does spit out pretty far um, but if you have like a blockage here as you can see it just kind of kicks it and kicks it into the item hopper which is gonna be nice because then once it does its thing you can send it on its way and uh, put it in whatever chest you want so that'd be good for theme um, uh, Minecraft maps and all that but I tell you what these snapshots are gonna be fantastic when they uh, uh, come out in the updates I believe it's gonna be 1.5 update they're gonna be doing most of this um, I believe they're just trying to work out all the bugs of them but um, obviously I'm gonna do a refresher to make a hopper we have five iron ingots and one chest in the middle it gives you a hopper Hopper over the chest, or hop, hopper over the minecart, excuse me, gives you a minecart with a hopper. And of course, the dropper, we have a hopper. This is a guy. <laughs> dropper with the hopper. We have uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cobblestones, one redstone. So you kind of make this like you would a dispenser, just you'd put a hopper instead of an arrow. And I'll give you a dropper there, okay? Um, over here, another update is uh, minecarts with TNT now. Um, you actually have the option of them either blowing up or not, okay? You saw how the switch is off. Now you can activate the activator, um, which will cause it to, I believe, explode instantly right here. But. Um, <clears throat> oop, that's right. Um, but what I believe um, is if you don't have that switch, if you come over here, I believe it's still. Oop, nope. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> I go on your way. Um, I believe that it still will activate normally like uh, you always have. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So now you need redstone to actually activate these um, activator plates. And we'll switch it on. And a nice new addition is that they don't blow up the track anymore. Okay. See how the track's still intact, which is a nice addition, but it does clear out a good area around it. <laughs> um, let's see, what else did they add? Oh, yes, texture packs. If you notice on the main screen, uh, when you log in now, uh, well, with at least with a snapshot, is that they don't have texture packs anymore. They actually put it in the option menu okay so you can instantly change like let's say oop, done so instantly there we go it's modern modernized okay you don't have to exit out of your game anymore to change your texture pack which is a nice feature uh, to the game other than that, uh, I believe there's not too much. I forgot to mention in the last episode, um, they've actually made independent texture files for like grass and uh, water and such. Um, so now that you can modify each individual texture rather than the whole uh, texture pack. Um, so like grass here can now be modified and you possibly will start seeing like gifts possibly where it actually will be moving grass which eh, sounds cool but yeah you know, I don't know we'll see <laughs> it all depends on what they're gonna do to it um, but other than that uh, covered that covered that covered that I believe that's it um, if you have any questions please feel free to comment uh, if you have any comments please comment below uh, other than that, uh, Ravenous Lunga signing off. Have a good one, guys.